So I'm going to be showing some math features in OneNote. This is OneNote for Windows 10. This also works in the OneNote web app and everything here is free. So I'm on the insert menu right here and I'm going to go over to the math button. And I have an equation selected that I wrote out and you can see it converts that inked equation over here on the right hand side. Now I can also type my math out and the exact same thing happens. If I select an action, I'm going to choose graph both sides in 2D. And you can see it automatically has a graph that I can explore by just hovering my mouse over. And I can choose to insert that right on the page. I can make it bigger, smaller, I can size it. So really nice for graphing. Now I can also choose to say solve for X. And in this case, it's going to solve the equation. You can see it solved it right here. I can even click show steps and show steps for completing the square. And you can see all of the equation is actually worked out here. And I can understand exactly how that equation was solved. Now another nice thing, I'm going to close the pane and I'm going to go and select this equation again. And I'm on the insert. I'm going to click the math button again and show a different capability. So imagine I'm going to select an action and solve for X. And I want to practice a quiz. I'm, I'm going to go home. I've got a test coming up. I want to practice that math. I click generate a practice quiz. It asks me how many questions, I choose three, and I click generate a quiz. Now using forms technology, we're going to analyze that equation, embed a form onto the page that has a bunch of questions that are similar but different to the equation up here. So now I've got a bunch of new questions, so I can click here, solve one, click another one, and when I'm done, I can go and submit this. So as a student now, what I can do is get my own practice at home. So I can view the results of that quiz. So as a student, I can click view results. I guess one of them right, but it shows me which did I get wrong, which did I get right. So all of this is an automatic quiz practice generation built into our math tools. Now the last thing I want to show is something that's called ink replay. So if I'm an educator and I want to watch how an equation was built, I go in the view menu and click replay and I can select the equation I want to replay and watch what happens. It actually writes it right back out for me. So now I can go and replay exactly how that equation was written. It's great to see how students are working through their problems or if students have notes from the teacher, they can go and watch how the teacher created that equation.